You know, I have to tell you, I love this shirt that you're wearing. It feels very much like a boyfriend shirt, you know? It's not. It's from Forever 21. It was $5 and it's wrinkled. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to this week's edition of Report Card. Uh, I'm Lee, the IA Director of Nudity. This is Alex, my style director, and we are here today with Caitlin Riley, um, ah. who you know from uh, your TikTok, likely. If you are dominating all of our feeds right now with your impressions of, um, as you put it, problematic women, I would say, and funny. I love that. I love that tagline. 2020 has been terrible in so many ways, but you've had yeah. so much amazing professional. I mean, you've totally blown up during this time. What has that been like? It's been, it sort of feels like a non-reality. Like it feels like I'm living a simulation or like I fell into a coma and like this, this is the life I'm living right now because of the crazy circumstances of what's going on. I downloaded TikTok on my phone and I started making character videos because I, I do characters and comedy and they just started to hit and people resonated with them. And it just, it like snowballed into this thing that I did not understand. You do a lot of moms, like what? Yeah, like, I do. I do like mom types, kind of. So I, I live in the area. Um, can I can I get a local discount? Oh, you don't have that. <laughs> yeah, I have like two mom characters. I have the wasp mom, and then I have the LA mom, which is sort of paving her own way. I cannot have Maddox sleeping in his crib the way that he is sleeping. It looks like a jail cell, okay? When we were selecting fashion looks, when I was going through the collections, I had this kind of like mother character that you're building, putting her in different situations. Christian Cohen, that is a New York based designer, and he's very good in terms of inclusivity and bringing glamour to the forefront. That was the first look of the collection. I'm, it's definitely non-conventional, but I'm obsessed with it. <laughs> this is something that I would wear to my ex-boyfriend's funeral. <laughs> um, I just, this, it's, I, I love it so much. I, it's crazy. It's a crazy outfit. I feel like if this was worn at the Oscars, I would be like, what was she thinking? But I think it's a moment. For your ex-boyfriend's funeral? Like you just walk up like, what's up? I'm so sorry he died. <laughs> <laughs> he was an asshole, right? Just, ugh. Yeah. Looking best is the best revenge. So this is a revenge dress. A plus. It's yeah. the only. It's the only event I would wear it to. Yeah. And I would burn it. <laughs> <laughs> we have this Chanel. That is basically a belted dress rope that is very easy and wearable, but you can take it outside and be super chic. Yeah, I'm getting very like beach house Jackie O vibes, which oh. I'm super into. Um, yeah. It's, I'm getting Elle Woods, Jackie O vibes for sure. I would Very wear much so. In a heartbeat. I would wear that to bed. It would look really good in you, on you, by the way. Oh my gosh, thank you. It would be wonderful on you. I wow. do think that. I have mm -hmm. never in a million years. <laughs> I love it. Also, I feel like anyone of any age could wear this. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like a 21 year old could wear it or a sexy as hell 89 year old grandma. Will you wear that in one of your characters? This is Wasp Mom just like walking around the house like she's so cold but she's so chic and she just has the sweater and just hi, I don't want to bother you. Um, I think Wasp Mom would definitely give this an A+. Plus. Absolutely. I think so too. Thank you. Yeah, A+. Plus. So when you're going back to LA and you decide to go to the beach, Will you go and wear this next one that is Sara Battaglia? The only thing, I think it's beautiful, but I'm being thrown off by the stockings on the beach. I it don't- It kind of makes me cringe a little bit. The idea is Sam getting in. Ooh. Is the stockings a part of the pant or is the shoe a part of the stocking? I'm getting, I'm getting confused. It's a basically bit. a legging boot that you wear and you put it up and is the one piece. Oh yeah, no, I can't. I refuse because just the anxiety of having it falling down, fall down. I just, I don't want to have anxiety with my clothes. 
Yeah. Is it, is it out of principle? Yeah. That's my one principle in life. The <laughs> <laughs> one rule to live by. I do think that that hat and sunglasses, they look very practical, you know? Yeah, no, I mean, it's a beautiful print. I, I would wear that hat to the grocery store. Absolutely. This is sort of like Sunday morning soccer game vibes. Um, <laughs> like, I brought the bagels. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, hi, sorry I'm late. So yeah. sorry. And then just like the big hat, but like <laughs> tilting the hat down so like you only have your eye on your son, but like you don't need to talk to anyone else. Yep. I'm just going to speak from my soul. Yes. And I'm going to give it a B. <laughs> minus. Ooh. A B. B minus. minus. Oh, love. This yellow Valentino with a little uh, purple bag. Yeah, this is like in like a Sunday afternoon mint julep kind yeah. of a moment. You need to be drinking though with this dress on, I feel. You need yeah. to be drinking. You, you must be drinking hard, hard alcohol. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, not wine. <laughs> not wine. Alcohol only. Yeah. I mean, just a little touch of trivia. This was an archive print and originated from an archive dress that Angelica Houston wore from the Valentino collection in the 1970s. Oh my God. I will give an A plus to anything that Angelica Houston has touched. Next, we're doing this Moschino moment. It's so, here's the deal. I heard about this fashion show and I heard that they used puppets and I was like, that's cool. But also, how can you sell a dress on a puppet that is 25 times smaller than a human being? This puppet is not to be played around with. She feels she would no. kill you at night. Yeah, no, she's the lady of the night. She's the lady in the lake. Yeah. Yeah. For no, sure. she's, got, she's got a bone to pick and she's not happy. Fashion-wise, there's a lot of things happening here. I mean, you have the feathers, you have the corset, you have the trimming around the bust area, and we call those feathers Muppet feathers. So it all sits on the Muppet puppet mm -hmm. environment here. I do think definitely you, it, it would clean your floors for sure. Yes, yeah. It'd That's... be the most expensive vacuum you've ever bought. <laughs> Maybe she's like, lives in Tennessee and she just wants to be a star and <laughs> she's never she's never had avocado toast before and she's <laughs> that's gorgeous <laughs> that's the most beautiful dress I've ever seen I give this a C minus we are doing Siriano vote hat love it I love this dress so much didn't Lizzo wear it recently somewhere she very did. good Yes. At the build of the world. Question, guys, Forever 21, okay? <laughs> this is perfect. The hat, the mask, the dress, the message. It's, um, it's iconic. It's a Spanish matador hat. I was sitting front row at that show in his <gasps> garden. I'm sorry. I know that feels really, but I have to say, in reality, this dress looked I feel amazing. Like trade. <laughs> Where would you wear this to? Um, my ex-husband's funeral. <laughs> what grade would you give it? I would give this an A+. Yeah. I would give it an A, yeah. I love it. This is Paco Rabanne. This is like if you're, you know, going on a COVID-era date, maybe, and you yes. want to keep it fun, but you also want to protect. I think this is my favorite lurk. It's like giving me boogie nights. It's giving me hot couture, it's giving me eyes wide shut, it's giving me a lot of things. I sort of wish they had gone with like a super high, like strappy gold heel. Mm. I get the boots, but I think that the party should have not ended at the knee. Disco Tower of London. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's what it is. That's it. That's it, you yeah. nailed it. Done. But wait a minute, what kind of a mom would wear this, do you think? I feel like LA mom would wear this to like Lou Diamond Phillips's birthday party that she was invited to because her husband works with him. <laughs> just like, yes, I just bought this. It's right off the runway. I know it's wild, but I just love it. Um, <laughs> um, I, I, got, I get to have protection. I don't need to do makeup because I'm not doing makeup these days because of my face oils. So I'm just loving just the privacy of this. I'm just in my safe. Listen, it's not practical. So I'm going to give it an A minus. Yeah. 
was a blast. This was a blast. I loved talking to you. So what's the plan? What, what are your plans for, for the future? What's coming for you? I don't know. <laughs> um, I know, I just, I, I mean, I don't have like anything on the burner, like a secret project or anything, but... I think okay. we're going to see a lot of you. Oh, thank you. Yes. Yeah. You as well. <laughs> no, because we're like, des uh, Lee and I, we're desperate and we just need to have a good time. And anything okay. that you're doing, it makes us feel so much better. So thank you so much for that. Oh, thank you guys.